Galerius became the sole ruler of the Eastern Roman Empire when the retiring emperor Diocletian made him Augustus in 305 AD. This also became the occasion of upgrading the fortified villa complex here at Romuliana with massive polygonal towers like the two flanking the East Gate main entrance to the complex. Like his father-in-law Diocletian, Galerius built his intended retirement complex in his birthplace, an isolated location some 70 kilometers southwest of the Danube frontier. He named the site after his mother Romula, who died and was buried here. The name of the site, as Felix Romuliana, Blessed Romula, was confirmed in an inscription recovered there in 1984. Before leaving the East Gate behind, it is important to note that visitors leaving the complex here would face the funerary monuments for Galerius and his mother on the Magura Ridge less than a kilometer away to the east. Inside of the fortifications, close to the north wall, is the well-preserved base, podium, of a small rectangular temple which is usually assumed to be the seat of worship for the deified Romula, Galerius' mother raised to divine status after her death. This follows the practice used by many emperors to anticipate their own divinization by elevating their wives and parents to the ranks of the gods. The fortification circuit, which encloses the complex, is built of solid stone and brick, a construction method typical of Roman architecture in the Eastern Empire. Unlike the mostly symbolic fortification walls and towers which surround Diocletian's palatial retirement villa complex in Split, another Roman emperor's root site, Galerius complex, was in a frontier zone subject to barbarian incursions. The immense polygonal towers, rising originally to a height of over 9 meters, presented an intimidating visual aspect to any attackers. Galerius' intended retirement villa occupies most of the northwest quarter of the complex and consists of some 15 rooms, most of which were paved with geometric pattern mosaics. The large peristyle courtyard with a central fountain is approached through a series of spacious reception halls, standard features for the rural establishments of the Roman elite in the late empire. A smaller octagonal room connected to the palace throne room was paved with hunting mosaics, now in the National Museum Zaitar, frequently occurring subject matter for country estates. The villa dining hall, the triclinium, opened off the peristyle and was distinguished by a masterpiece of mosaic art located right in the entry portal. The figure of the god of wine, Dionysus, seated on a leopard, framed by grapevines, now displayed in the National Museum Zaitar. Given that the primary form of entertainment for Roman aristocrats was dinner parties, which highlighted wine consumption, this was an entirely suitable first image for guests to see as they entered the dining room. In the series of smaller rooms, reached through another peristyle courtyard from the dining room, there is an unusual circular mosaic with an elaborate design of concentric shields. The funerary complex on the Magura Ridge overlooking the villa complex consists of two consecration mounds and two mausoleums built for the funerals and burials of Romula and Galerius respectively. Pagan emperors, of which Galerius was one of the last, practiced cremation for their funerals. The ceremony for the emperors, and in this case a close relative, was consecratio, by which the earthly remains of the emperor and luxurious gifts were consumed by fire on the funeral pyre and transferred to the realm of the gods. The two consecration mounds here are rarely preserved examples of this process. Remains of the pyres and fragments of gold and silver from the gifts were found in their excavation. 